What is up, folks? Professor Pickles here coming at you with a Dungeons & Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms draft box. Um, probably will be only opening one of the draft boxes. Um, we'll definitely be doing a set box and a collector box as well once uh, those come in in the mail. Um, so yeah, and I will also link all of my uh, openings for this set up in the eye in the upper right-hand corner of your screen there. So definitely check those out after the video if you're interested. We do also have an arena code to give away. I have some Strixhaven, um, the, uh, not the pre-release pack ones, but the promo pack ones available. And as I, I also have a, um, some pack, uh, some codes from this set as well. So if you'd like to be entered to win that, just make sure you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and leave a comment below letting me know your favorite poll from today's video. And let's get right into it here. I'm gonna move these over to that side. See the new a little skull play mat here. And um, yeah, ooh, got an Evolving Wilds, one of the fancy artworks. And starting off with a gelatinous cube. I do like these frame ones, but I'm not like, honestly a huge fan of the of the other variant. Um, oh, interesting, you gotta flip it around, okay. Yeah, these ones. I I really don't like these ones to be honest. Move those right there. And we got a fighter class. Went to a draft last night, and uh, one of my opponents had that. You can get enough artifacts or um, equipment. That thing is nasty. Flame Skull. I pulled this in one of the other videos, I believe. Honestly, not a huge fan of that mythic. And we've got an Icing Death Frost Tongue weapon. Interesting. Weapon token. An uncommon one of those. And a Nadar. With our first foil, a Paladin's Shield. I do like that spiked pit trap in draft. Um, it you usually get to kill something with it. Paladin class, and it does five damage, so it's not a. Uh, it's pretty good for sure. The only class I've gotten a chance to play with personally in uh, in a draft slash or pre-release is the uh, warlock class. Ooh, this is a good one. The new, um, uh, what's that card? Gaia's Cradle, I believe. Very cool. That's one of the better rares to pull. Ooh, Dungeon Descent. Very cool, I haven't pulled this one yet. And another little foil uncommon. your weapon and a treasure chest very nice with sepulcher ghoul the treasure chest is very cool i haven't gotten a chance to play with that one yet but i would definitely like to include that one in the deck if i uh if i pulled it creating five treasure tokens is just nuts and the other abilities aren't bad either got a silver silvery moon ranger not silver moon ranger right. a silvery moon Interesting. Dire Wolf Cowboy. Ooh, a double. And Monk Class. Never seen this one played yet, but. Not bad, actually. Just quickly reading the abilities. Ooh, Grand Master of Flowers. For mythic number two of the box. Don't believe I pulled that one yet. And a foil rare. Number one is Zorn. Plus an additional treasure token. Interesting. That could definitely maybe see some play. Is that a foil rare? It is a foil rare. So here, sorry. We'll put the put the foil rares right there. Oh, 
Ah. Lost a common. Believe it or not, I do actually sort all of the cards that I pull, even all the commons. And uh, I do manage to trade away a decent amount of them over over time from all the different sets. So Whether it's worth the effort, I don't know. I probably don't make too much money per hour doing it, but it is a fun little hobby and everything. Another mythic, Eben Death, Eben Death Draco Lich. Very cool. For mythic number three of the box. Almost halfway through here and a couple more packs. Mimic. Played this card the other day. It's a great card. Oh wow. This is this pack has a lot of uh, a lot of alternate arts. And we got a Delina Wild Mage. Very cool. Don't believe I've pulled this one yet. I really honestly don't like these. They they remind me of like paper, brown paper bags. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments if y'all like them. This one's honestly kind of cool, but still, like the regular artwork of this is pretty sweet. And I don't know, teleportation circle and a blink dog. I just feel like a just this treatment of the of the card doesn't really give the artworks justice. I will I will note though that actually the foil versions of those cards are kind of cool. They have the foiling. Maybe we'll pull one, but I pulled one in the bundle video um, for this set. Ooh, a Book of Vile Darkness for another Mythic, Mythic number four, and a foil treasure chest. Very nice. Um, but yeah, the foiling is only on the background. It's not actually on the card. It's, it's a lot like the Pokemon foiling, if you're familiar with that, like the OG Pokemon foilings. And uh, I do actually like those, but I don't know. Ooh, very cool. Temple of the Dragon Queen. And a Drizd, Drizd Do Erden. <laughs> Such a weird name on that one. Wouldn't be a magic set if uh, there wasn't at least one card that you used to have no clue how to say the name, no matter how hard you try. Ooh, I almost knocked over the pile of commons. That at least happens once a video, usually. Triumphant Adventure. Here, we're going to circumvent that problem and... Move the stack. There we go. Save. I'll probably still manage to knock it over somehow. Adult Gold Dragon. Amazing card in limited. Oh, there we go. We did get one. Interesting, but this one actually does have foiling on here. The last one I pulled only had foiling on this blue part back there. So, okay. Kind of weird, but whatever. We'll take it. Oh, wow. A mythic. Honestly, it looks terrible, but it is a mythic version of this, so another card I don't have to, you know, trade for, because I do like to get one to every single card. Haste and Ward 10, as long as it was cast. Honestly, that's, uh, that's a pretty good card in Commander. I'm not sure if that'll see any play in Standard or anything, but <clears throat> I could definitely see that one being included in a Commander deck. I mean, honestly, any card of magic can be included in a commander deck if you can find the right deck for it. Wizard's Spellbook. I will let you all know my favorite pull of the day at the end of the video. We can kind of go through everything. I don't usually do a, an overview, but we can try it today. Ranger class. Whenever you attack with a plus one, plus one counter on second creature. That's honestly pretty good. <laughs> Ranger class. I like that one. I've never had a chance to play with that one, but that seems very good and limited. I'm not sure if those uh, class cards will see any play outside of limited. Ooh, Lair of the Hydra. I don't believe I pulled this one yet in this, uh, this border frame. I do really like these ones because they're unique and, and all that, but I hate these. <laughs> I've probably said, I've said that so many times in this video, but y'all can tell how passionate I am about that. And I've liked a lot of the a lot of the border treatments Wizards has done in recent sets, but these just eh, I don't know. Asmodeus, the Archfiend. <clears throat> All right, we got one stack of packs left here. Let's see if we can get at least one or two more mythics. Tiamat would be nice. That's uh, obviously 
I think I believe it's still the most expensive card in the set as at this point. True polymorph. It was about twenty five bucks or so last time I checked. I got that. I actually pulled a Tiamat in my uh, pre release. One of my pre releases I went to. Didn't end up playing it because I mean, that'd be pretty hard. But um, I wasn't complaining. That kind of paid for my uh, that pre release event. Vorpal Sword, very interesting card, and a Precipitous Drop. What do you guys think of these uh, these new uh, lands? I, uh, I don't mind the way they look, they're kind of interesting. New, a little bit of a new flavor. Orcus, the demon. Another dire wolf prowler. Volo. This is an amazing card in limited. <laughs> I played him in one or two decks so far, and it's just <laughs> disgusting some of the things you can do. Thought I saw something spicy, but no werewolf pack later. <clears throat> Another mythic? Is that an I or an L? I think it's an I. Imarith Desert Doom. Uh, I don't know. Not terrible. Ooh, I really like this card. This is a great card. Wish. I wish for a Tiamat. That's what I wish for. Sphere of Annihilation. Not a bad card. I actually played this card yesterday in my black green uh, limited deck. I didn't didn't work out too well. I went. Uh, Oh, 3 I literally lost every single game. So that was not fun, but, you know, whatever. You win some, you lose some. Mind Flayer. All right, two more packs. If you guys do like what you see and you're still sticking around at this point, thank you. And uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like and a comment below. It definitely does help out. And uh, if you ask me a question or something, I will try and respond to the comments. I always do. Got a Tasha's Hideous Laughter. Our first foil basic land of the day. And last pack. See if we can get some last pack magic here. Dungeon map. And Oswald Fiddlebender with a zombie ogre. All right. Well, nothing too crazy today, but um, we did get one, two, three, four, five, and I believe six mythics there. Um, so not, not not too bad, and hopefully some decent rares as well. There's honestly not too much value in this set, to be honest. At least as of this point, maybe in the future, um, some cards will spike as people, you know, figure out new stuff to do with them. But I don't know. As of right now, this is not looking like it wants to be a set that uh, you should open. Um, but maybe that'll change, hopefully. So let's see. All right, folks. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.